What's going on, family? It's your guy, Boro the Lucky Libra, and thank you for tuning in to another episode. Yet yeah, once again, I'm happy you're here. I'm always happy when y'all join me for a nice go round on some good old astrological vibrations. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. As you can see, we're picking up the signs through the ninth house series with Leo in the ninth house. So shout out to my Sagittarius Rises. Shout out to my Sag Rises in the building, all right? I appreciate everybody throwing them likes, sharing, and subscribing. So I'm going to give y'all, you know, two seconds to go ahead and do that. All right. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. All right. That's why, that's why we like this, y'all. That's why we like this. So I appreciate y'all helping me build the community up and circulate these gems, gang. All right. If you'd like to dive deeper, tap into my Patreon. We got a lot going on there in the month of June. And if you'd like to connect with the Lucky Libra, book a reading and all that and all that, visit my website, please. All right. Let's get right into it. All right. Without further ado. Leo in the ninth house. Okay, so this may be this is my this is most likely my Sagittarius risings. This may be my Scorpio risings. This may be uh Capricorn risings. All right, but the majority of you guys are gonna be uh Leo ascendants. I mean Sagittarius ascendants here. All right, and what is the ninth house? The ninth house deals with our experiences, all right? Which ultimately develops our wisdom, our knowledge, you know, our belief systems. So this house has a whole lot to do with how we develop our belief systems, our spiritual influences, philosophy, religion, how these things play a part in our life, uh, what type of influences we will have in our life that affect these things, okay? Uh, this house is also dealing with, you know, foreign culture, long distance traveling, adventure, okay? We see some influences with the in-laws here here as well so um that's what we got going on in ninth house very spiritually one of the most you know one of the most spiritually inclined houses in our charts now when we look at leo when we look at leo all right fixed fire ruled by the sun for uh, first of all of rip we need to know where house the sun is in all right, we need to know what house the sun is in because that's the ruler of this house. And depending on where the sun is at, you know, that's going to be the area of life where you're going to be experiencing a lot. You know, you're going to be learning a lot of things in that area that that house is going to, you know, be a prominent place for developing your belief systems in life. How you deal with spirituality and philosophy in that life or how you build your own philosophies in that life. Uh that 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 house is gonna um you know you're gonna manifest a lot of teachers there, you know spiritual guidance in that area. So we need to know the house that the sun is in. All right, guys. Now, Leo, we know it's ruled by the sun, dealing with expression, light, awareness. You know, we know Leo is theatrical. We know Leo's creative. We know it brings the light. It's expressive, right? But I'll tell you this much, Leo in the ninth house is going to be prideful about their spirituality. <laughs> Wherever Leo at in the chart, we know we can have some pride there. It's connected to our son. We can have some pride, some strong ego here. So yes, pride when it comes to their belief system and spirituality, bet your bottom dollar on it. They might, they might be, they, it's, it, they can be a bit egotistical, arrogant, condescending with their spirituality, to be honest with you. To be honest with you, you know, if you ain't into they, if you ain't into the form of spirituality they into, you know, they may have some smart remarks or they could challenge you here because Leo's also another competitive sign. Leo's very competitive. So, uh yeah they may challenge you here in the ninth house they may attract people challenging their form of spirituality or whatnot so uh yeah you leo's ninth house gotta be careful they, now you gotta think about it y'all whose house is this this is the sagittarius house this is the ninth house so we talking about sag ascendants right now so you know with all that pride when you throw all this energy, Leo, in the ninth house, and they already Sag ascendants, uh, best believe they they wear their belief system on the sleeve. They wear their beliefs on the sleeve here. They ain't running from no smoke when it comes to expressing what they spiritually into, you know, or how they develop their morals, codes, ethics in life. They ain't running from none of that. They gonna let you know that was. They gonna story tell on that. They're going to give you the breakdown and start, all right, this is how it started. So, 
I grew up in this household, and when I was young, you feel me, I had got locked up. When I was locked up, you know, I was in law library. I was studying this, that, and the third, and this, this other, one of my, uh, you know, you know, one of the older, older, uh, 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 you know, inmates, you know, they started schooling me on this, that, and the third. So I started doing my research, and then when I soon I got out of jail, like, they going to give you the breakdown. They going to give you the breakdown why their God, why their spirituality is, is the one. So that you got to be careful of that, because y'all will... Yeah, will be fixed in that sense. You know, you will be fixed in that sense sometimes with Leo in this house. You know, if I'm in the nation of Islam, if you ain't saying, if you ain't bowing down to Allah, I don't know what, whatever you talking about, whoever you praying to, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You need to come join the nation. So they, you got to be careful with that if you on that type of time, Leo in the ninth house, Sagittarius, Risings, Okay. But I say that to say this, they gonna make for a hell of a preacher. They gonna make for a hell of a pastor. They gonna make for a hell of a public speaker. It's the sun here. It's gonna come with, it's gonna, it, I can relate. I got the sun in ninth house, so I can relate to a lot of these energies. They're gonna be, uh, you know, and I gotta catch myself with some of these energies, ninth house, sun in ninth house. Sometimes I'll be thinking I'll discredit other people's outlooks and perspectives on things that with spirituality and I gotta, I have to remind myself, like, motherfucker, you are a student, all right? And other people are walking different paths. Calm your ass down. So Sagittarius rising, you may have to tell yourself that from time to time, especially if you got the sun in a fire sign, especially if you got the sun in the first, fifth, or the ninth house, you, or the twelfth house. Yes, or the twelfth house, you know, I, I'm pointing out the expression house. I'll say twelfth house because that house deals with strong belief systems as well, you know? You can throw the eighth house in there a bit, but the eighth house is more private. So, so uh, yeah, they, they gonna make for they gonna have they gonna they may be theatrical when it comes to expressing their knowledge, their wisdom, their spirituality. You know, have have a strong presence with it. They may be able to attract a lot of attention here for the things dealing with their their experience and their knowledge and wisdom. You know, they may manifest a lot of situations in their life where they become center stage. Around them giving their experience off with something, you know. So this not even doesn't have to be with dealing with spirituality. They may be a coach in some short, in some sort. They may be a coach. They may be a. a, a these people can be creative teachers. So they could be the one leading the paint and sip. They could be the one leading the stitching class. They could be the one, you know, leading or teaching the course about you know, this and that, this and that. How to how to properly cut denim jeans like they they can be they can fulfill the leadership or teacher position when it comes to things dealing with creativity all right one another thing about spirituality here with leo leo deals with what creation leo deals with creation this is why there's a strong connection with the inner child and children here Whenever we bring up Leo or the fifth house, so with Leo dealing with creation, when you put that in the ninth house, a lot of these people are fascinated with the creation of things in spirituality. Oh, who created this religion? Who created the Bible? Who created, uh, sh who named the cancer constellation cancer? I'm t like, like they get, they want to get to the root of things dealing with creation with this, with Leo in the ninth house. Cause Leo, Leo deals with awareness. Remember it's the sun. So we deal with awareness, what you could see, you know? So, you know, the, the awareness for what they could gain spiritually, you know, they could be uh real intense here, you know, with learning things, you know, the creation of this civilization, the creation of America, even when it gets down to things dealing with history and whatnot, yeah, they like to get to the like starting points of things, so they can they can have strong spiritual or just educational pursuits trying to understand these things. You feel me with Leo here, but uh, you know, when it comes to education, though, you know, the ninth house has a huge influence on the things we like to learn, what we might major in in college, and just what we might what we are drawn to studying and learning about in life period on top of what the ninth house may put is going to push us to experience in anyways. So with Leo here, <coughs> creative affairs is going to be somewhere. It's not, it's not a surprise if these people go to school 
they picked their high school for something dealing with creativity. They picked the, they picked this high school because they have a strong fashion program, or or they have a strong theater and drama program, and then they end up going to college to be a part of this other advanced theater drama program, or you know like things like that. Things dealing with music, the arts, something with being on the stage, media. You know, when it comes anything dealing with entertainment and media, whether they're acting, whether they're writing the scripts, they're learning how to produce, they're learning how to work with cameras. Like these are things that they're very studious about, whether they're going to school for it or they're not in school for it. They're going to be into that shit. They may be real. Uh, Leo in the Ninth House may be real passionate about learning things within the entertainment industry. The the what's the ins and outs was going on behind the scenes. They're gonna be once again into things with civilizations, hierarchies, they're gonna be into all of that. Leo in the ninth house. All right. Shit. Once again, they may manifest a lot of attention and light for the things that they have a philosophical perspective on. Even if they have strong fixed ass views with something with spirituality or religion, they'll still manifest attention for that shit. They'll still manifest some form of light for that. And and because the sun rules here, they'll shine. A lot of them will a lot of them look at expressing their belief system or them being in a state of teaching, even if it's not spirituality, them being in a state of teaching, this is for them, this is where they feel like they they shine. Wherever Leo's in our chart, in some type of shape or form, we can manifest light attention there and we'll shine through that because it is connected to our sun sign, which deals with uh, gaining light and awareness. So uh, yes, the things that they could teach that they're experienced with, their knowledge and wisdom, you know, this is why they like to, they may be very expressive here in that state because that's their sense of shining. That's something that when they notice that they are in the state of teaching somebody something, showing somebody how to do something, they'll notice that they'll gravitate some light and attention here. So it almost could be like, you know, something that's continuously getting fed here in some type of shape or form, but definitely may manifest positions to teach with creative matters. You know, anything dealing with creativity, they may have a passion for teaching others how to deal with that sense of creativity. You know, being a producer, teaching other people, how, learning how to cop this course so, so y'all can learn how to work with this new Pro tool set so y'all can, you know, you know, get your engineer game going. Vocal coach, uh, vo uh, uh, teaching people with their vocals, piano coach, like so things like that. They they could excel here with these type of things, and people will. And this is the thing: they're gonna be really great with the youth when it comes to it, when it comes to teaching. They're gonna have a youthful energy, and this is why they may connect with the youth very well. These once again, these may be the uh, <laughs> these may be the uh, the teachers that you that you really like, the teachers that uh. You talking to before class, you know damn well that you rock with the teacher hard. If it's t it's ten minutes before class, everybody in the hallway, but you in early in the classroom kicking it with your teacher, y'all laughing about shit. That's Leo in the ninth house. You got a great connection with the children. <laughs> you got strong energy. You got Leo in the ninth house, strong fifth house energies. You are gonna have this type of influence, you know. Um, but yeah, these are the things they're gonna be into from an education perspective, right? Theater, fashion. Oh, fashion. I don't. I don't know if I said that. Yeah, I mentioned fashion. Uh, they could be like teachers in that sense or whatnot. Um, manifest, uh, you know, center stageness for anything that they're teaching. Their belief system. Just got to be careful not being too fixed. Almost, almost in a, a, a arrogant way. You know, don't don't close. Don't limit what you can expand on with Leo here. Leo can gain such a huge awareness where it's at in the chart so you don't want to get so fixed remember this is a firehouse too this is a firehouse too this is why even though it's fixed fire it's fire leo's a fire sign so it still has a strong presence here it resonates with this house from a trine perspective so this is why these people these people can end up like let's say let's say I don't want to use Malcolm X for an example cuz I don't want to attach him as looking as like a cuz he was a powerful teacher. So, okay, you see how Malcolm X joined the Nation of Islam and he immediately became one of the the one of the he he developed a huge light and became one of the most paid attention to teachers 
these individuals have this ability. They may become a part of a community, a part of something, especially if it's dealing with some of the spirituality. And if it's a group collective where they're expressing shit, they can gain a huge light here to the point they start ending up leadership positions. People start paying attention to them. And it may be, have a lot to do with their charisma, presence, energy, when it comes to expressing their knowledge and wisdom in some type of shape or form here. So they could gravitate a lot of light and energy here. They could even be teaching some false shit. <laughs> they could even be teaching some false shit and still gain some attention and light. You know, this is just how it is. Just the energies. Now, this house also has an influence on like in-laws. All right. This house also has an influence on in-laws. So uh, on in-laws and also the um, aunts and uncles on the mother's side for a for a guy and the aunts and uncles on the uh, father's side for a woman. And so whether it's these relatives or your in-laws, they may be very theatrical. They may be, you know, they have Leo-like Leo traits, you know, really expressive, uh, may put you in center stage positions a lot of the time, you know, asking you certain questions in front of the whole family at the dinner table, at the, like, you know, putting you in center stage. They may be very enthusiastic, you know, that's another word I like to use when it comes to these individuals dealing with their creativity and whatnot. I know I mentioned that these people uh, gain a lot of attention through their belief system, but they may have been real popular in school too. Just having Leo in the ninth house. So when it comes to any education matter, educational matters, you know, college, high school, they may have been well known. Um, leave a comment if you was prom king, prom queen. Leave a comment. Uh, Spirit just told me one of y'all watching this video, prom king, prom queen. <laughs> but uh yeah 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 the relatives the in-laws they may have this type of upbeat nature this this enthusiastic you know type of nature maybe one of them is into creativity in some type of shape or form your your in-laws or your uh, uh uh relatives on them sides you know your aunts and uncles in them sides you know uh uh yep 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 leo in the ninth house leo in the ninth house leo in the ninth house in-laws relatives Okay, okay, okay. That's yeah, yeah, that's what we got, man. Leo in the Nizine. Leo in the Nizine. There's some powerful energy. I swear to God, when they get into their teaching bag or uh, they're able to learn fast too here. They're fast learners. Jupiter is their chart ruler. If you're a Sag Ascendant. All right. So with Leo in this ninth house, you know, they can suck, soak up a whole lot of wisdom here. Leos are very wise signs now, you know. We could drag Leos for how, you know, how they could be self-centered or they could be, you know, it's all about me and they're very prideful. But a lot of Leos is wise as hell is the sun. The sun is light and the sun is awareness. So you put some energy of the sun in the ninth house with this person having, uh, uh, being able to um, have a leveled, you know, outlook on how they deal with spirituality and develop their belief systems in life they're going to be able to learn from a lot of other people too when it comes to their belief system because it's the sun so they're going to pay attention to a lot of people they're going to learn from other people's actions and forms of expression here in order to prevent certain things in their life or develop certain things in their life they're very good at that here too all right but yeah don't front on no leo in the ninth house don't front on no sag rising all right it's a lot of wisdom here a lot of potential to be very wise individuals here and they may definitely get into all different forms of spirituality here like i'm talking about you know i'm talking about all type of shit when it's coming when we're talking about they may be astrologers they all type of spiritualists and whatnot it's sagittarius rising it's sagittarius risings y'all so even if they don't end up they're gonna manifest a lot of teachers in their life so that's why it may manifest into them uh these fucking twists on my ear is irritating the shit. I ain't, I ain't get these shits in a little minute. But they may manifest into being teachers because they manifest so much goddamn teachers around them. You feel me? Father might be a teacher from a spiritual... Father might be into spiritual shit. Then your mother religious. Grandmother, your father's mother, she's, she's spiritual as shit. She the one that taught your father all the spiritual shit. He teaching you... Then your uncle's spiritual as shit. Your cousin be trying to run away from this shit. Like, God damn, my pops always preaching that motherfucking astrology, spirituality shit. Y'all teenagers talking this shit. That spirituality shit, this and that third. Like, damn, my whole family's spiritual shit. You go to school, 
you develop a relationship with your with your eighth grade teacher, they really into some spiritual shit. You start talking about spiritual shit with them, like, man, I'm telling you, besides rising, it should be crazy. I really hate when that happens. Cause now I gotta edit this ending, this this little clip to that video. Because my phone cut off. But anyways, that's Leo in the Ninth House family. Y'all already know the vibes. Next, we're picking it up with uh, Virgo. My Virgos in that eighth, in the Ninth House. All right. If you'd like to dive deeper, tap into the Patreon. If you'd like to connect with the Lucky Lever, tap into, you know, my website. All right. And I appreciate everybody that left that like, that either shared and subscribe. All right, family. Until next time. Ice.